Sons of Rohan, my brothers. Today we are going to play Rohan against seven hard armies in Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 2.22 on the beautiful map Old Brownlands. And we are only recruiting heroes and power points exclusively. No Rohirrim, no peasants, nothing like that. And also to make it even a bit more challenging, I will try, which I can promise, to win without the army of the dead summoned from Aragorn and also not the army of the dead summoned from the Spellbook of Rohan. So, at the beginning of the game, let's build two farms and recruit the first hero that's going to be Mary Poppins. No, not Mary Poppins, Mary Rock Brandybuck. From the power points, we don't need draft early on, but we will need that later on in order to be able to get to the Anduril Sword to make our Aragorn hit like an absolute truck. I'm here for my friends. I'm here for my friends. You heard him, guys. So let's use the Marriottic Brandybuck um, to grab those two settlements in front of the castle and then right after to creep the Goblin Lair. To just get a bit more money, which we will need definitely to recruit expensive heroes like Legolas, Gimli and of course the King of Gondor who is taking a place in Rohan in the game for whatever reason. I mean, I can understand the reason because if you think about that, like if you place Aragorn and Gandalf in one single faction, holy quackamole. Like, good luck, you know? Would be too OP. Goblins! Goblins. So let's use Marriott or Brandybuck. I don't see any eyes of Sauron yet. You can see every one of these is hard army. We are cash floating a lot. The plan is simple. We will be filling up the base with farms exclusively. Because we will need a lot of resources. Mary! We have a new farm. The farm is ready. I like that. Look at these farmers, boys. Watch them. They are working all day, all night. You know, in winter, in summer, they don't care. The farm is ready. The farm. Hey, Mary, please attack this guy. Please, come on now. Nice. Okay. We will also get level 3 with the Hobbit Marriott Brandybuck after creeping the Goblin Lair. Holy moly. We are cash floating once again. Um, sorry for that. So let's build two more farms. And even the last farm. Okay. We also need to close the gate now just for the worst case scenario. Hope for the best, but always be prepared for the worst case. That's my motto, ladies and gentlemen. Now you know. Alright, man. We need to actually lower the voice a little bit. Because the guy is screaming a little bit too much for my teeth. We have a new farm. We have a new farm. Okay. Sorry for that. Uh, all right, Mary, please. The first hero is going to be, beside Mary, of course, uh, Legolas, the Prince of the Midgood Elves, for 2,700. He used to cost normally 3,000, but we lowered the price of Legolas down uh, by 300 to make him a bit more viable and more reliable as a hero. Because Rohan uh, doesn't like to get Legolas on the field, and making him a bit cheaper hopefully will change that. All right, so... We have almost the money for Legolas, and early on, we should not be worried about being attacked from Siege Weapons. And in a 1v7 matchup like we are playing right now, um, you need to be smart. Like, killing the enemy units at the beginning of the game is like a double-edged sword. It might be helpful early on, but it's kinda... It's going to be like a bad choice in long terms, because that's going to open command points. Hold on a second, we see Gondor. He was also creeping with the Gondor archers. You know what? Let's fight this. I can one-shot them. Hobbit is hitting like a truck. They are level... Like, he has many archers on the field, man. Can't touch this. I'm actually pretty tempted to build a tower, but let's not do that for now. We also need Eomer. The reason is simple, because Eomer has outlaw leadership. Hobbit, get cloaked, my friend. Nice. We will need some levels, but I would like to wait for Elmer. Then we will be placing Elmer, or there is also Isengard, next to Legolas. And this way, our Elmer is going to be able to passively level up, you know, with, Leg with Legolas together. And once he's level 2, it means money, money, money every time we kill enemy units. And one of the changes we have implemented to the Rohan faction, as you can see and tell, is that the heroes Elmer, Elvian, and Theodin are coming on the field while being mounted. So we see Isengard and Gondor so far. And also now Rohan is coming. I have not seen Mordor yet. And like expected, we are surrounded. And there is nothing we can do about that. So let's get Gimli. And the last hero is going to be Aragorn. 
Um, Theodin is not really needed in this kind of situations because we have no units to boost, you know? Leadership from Theodin is gonna be kinda useless. Also, the Glorious Charge, as well as King's Fever, is going to be absolutely useless because we have no units to make them stronger or to use Glorious Charge. Okay, so build a post it eventually. But I would like to wait until Aragon is coming. But yeah, let's let's kill some units for now. We have also no well, but we have heal from the spell book for, for the worst case scenario. Gimli, it's your time to shine, my dudes. I told you to attack, Legolas, please. All right, Gimli, you need to be level two ASAP, my friend. Legolas, don't die, I'm telling you. Losing a hero would be the worst case scenario. Oh my goodness, not even close. Not even close. Come on, come on now, guys. Alright, Gimli level 3. Let's use Leap Attack. Aha! I like Gimli so much. And now, instead of level 7, you will get this layer unlocked with level 5. And also, we lowered the price of Gimli from 2500 down to 2000. We have almost the money for Aragorn. That's going to be our target. And we also need Anduritz Sword. For that reason, we have to first of all pick the draft from the spellbook. And then we need to collect 2 power points after that to unlock the Anduril Sword, which would mean 100% more damage and 25% more armor for Aragorn. We lowered the amount of armor you get from Anduril Sword from 50% down to 25. Because Aragorn was just too strong. He was unkillable, literally. Son of we shall not fall. You shall not fall. So now we need to make like a group of the melee units in the front. And Arag um, actually, you know what? We can put... Um, Eomia and Degolas together because Eomia is kind of very, very squishy. Let's use Leap Attack one more time, Gimli. Gimli, can you please leap? The force Aragons tell us now for the worst case scenario. And as you can see, until we are getting so much money for killing this enemy units at this point. Let's now build two towers. Aragorn. Can use Blade Master. Gimli can use Slayer. Okay, with Slayer we are getting stronger and stronger. Let's use Atelas to heal up Gimli. Let's demolish one of the farms to build a well. Uh, Gimli is surrounded. So let's peel back. Let's peel back for now. Let's not risk the biscuit. I don't want to lose any of these heroes. We can also use for the worst case scenario the Elaine deal from Aragorn. But now our you know, towers are going to kill the them all slowly but surely. Again, that's like a double-edged sword because now we will kill them with the towers but that will open more command points possibilities for enemy ai factions and they will eventually make the transition into the siege weapons which is not fun to play against trust me on that one so yeah we also lost hobbit by the way which is you know not the best case we also see mordor that means every faction is included condor rohan isengard and mordor build more and more towers which are needed because we will have to eventually leave our castle to destroy enemy castles and for that reason we cannot leave our castle unprotected under this war is unlocked let's go for the elven allies now and let's open a post and get behind the beast we will get power points every single second for killing those units and again early game is okay you know early game is not a problem but the longer the game goes on, the more we have to deal with siege weapons, which are almost immune to the towers. We must be quick. So we need to defeat one of the enemy factions ASAP. That's the plan. There is a Nazgul. Maybe Eowyn would be a good choice when I think about it. <laughs> Just to be able to deal with the Nazguls, you know what I'm saying? So can you please take care of this Nazgul, Legolas? Come on now. Hmm. More towers are coming up. I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose. Actually, come on now. Nobody is attacking the Nazgul. We will be losing the Citadel, guys. Oh my goodness, man! I cannot believe that. This Elaine deal. Kimli, where are you, my friend? Kimli, can you please do something? Yeah, may I just stay closer to the units uh, to, the, to the heroes, rather? This way we can don't moonwalk like that. We are not in the in the video clip of Michael Jackson here. Aragon is hitting like a truck. He's crippled, though. Somebody... Yeah, I think that is Lourdes. 
I don't even see him. Where is he actually? Did he already die? I'm not sure, but he's crippled. He can't move. Oh, all right. So, Legolas, you can also join the party. We have still heal available for the worst case scenario. There comes another Nazgul. And Legolas has to take care of them. Legolas hitting like a truck, by the way. Look at this. Like, good luck dealing with Legolas now. He's almost level 6. Our heroes are in a phenomenal spot. And because of Eomea, we also get constantly resources for killing enemy units left and right. Gimli is pretty beefy and super tanky. 11 power points collected. That's great. Let's pick up the ant allies, which we will need in order to be able to break through the walls of the, of the Gondor and Rohan factions. But again, I would like to build some more towers just to feel a bit more safe as we are being attacked 24-7 from these Nazgûls. And they are extremely annoying. Hey, 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 Legolas, Legolas, Legolas. Don't die. Look, you see, like one thing is for sure, the Gondor's defense in compared to Rohan is just much, much greater. Like when you have Gondor walls plus the Gondor towers with the stonework upgrade from the building, uh, the Nazgul would not be able to survive for like 10 seconds. But Rohan's defense is not that great. Okay, so we now can make a move. But I'm worried that we might get attacked from siege weapons very, very soon. But we need to make a move regardless. So Aragorn is almost level 8. Gimli is level 7. And Legolas just got level 7 as well. That's dope. That's pretty nice. We can use the Erovin maybe now with Legolas. To kill all these units. Look, the blue arrows now coming, boys. Pew, pew, pew. Plus seven, plus seven, plus seven. I'm assuming that's Gondor next to our castle, which is okay. There is Saruman. And catapults. The siege has begun. That's what I was afraid of. And we might need to use Army of the Dead. Just to be able to defend ourselves. While we are attacking this castle. I believe that's very, very needed. Because... We have nothing to defend ourselves, you know? Let's use Army of the Dead just for defense. Just to kill those catapults. Look, Legolas in the meantime, randomly killing... Oh, there is another, another Nazgul coming. Please stay all together. Aragorn, you can use Atelas. Aragorn can actually heal all the nearby allied units. Or heroes, rather. Let's break one more part of the wall. Erovin is strong cooldown. Kill this, Legolas. We have heal from the spellbook still available. We can also unlock the cloud break. Let's do that. But he killed two of our <laughs> ends, which is not the best case scenario. All right, Gimli, you gotta make a move, my friend. You go inside the jeans. Aragorn, you do the same. Elmea and Legolas, you do the same. We need to just focus down the structures now at this point. Let's repair the git. Aragorn, you can use Blade Master. Oh, there is Boromir trying to kill you, train, trying to betray you. I don't know about that. Oh my goodness, the bottom me, the captains of Condors, they actually messed us up big time. Please, please bail back. Peel back, peel back, peel back. The problem is that they are extremely slow. Let's not lose them. Let's use heal here. Oh, we missed Gimli, by the way, with the heal. I cannot believe that. We need to revive Aragorn, guys. It's very important. Uh, Elme is quite slow hero when he's on foot. We broke two parts of the wall. Uh, maybe we can attack this one more time. Please don't. Before you go attack, attack. They are so slow when they are throwing rocks. But we will be able to finish off the citadel. That's good. That's good. I mean, we were not able to finish them off just yet. But we were still able to open like an opening. You know, by breaking down the wall. Two parts of it. But unfortunately, we lost our Aragorn doing that. You know, which is not worth it. And now more units are coming. And of course, in very, you know... Very, very soon, they will even get more siege weapons recruited. And again, siege weapons are basically immune to the arrows. And they will outrange the towers anyway, so... Not good. We need to wait for Aragorn, and you can see... When you go with your cursor over Aragorn in the patch 2.2, it will also tell you the revive time. Revive time from level 1 to level 4, it's gonna be 1 minute 30 seconds. And from level 5 to level 10, it's gonna be 2 minutes. So we wanted to make sure that you have enough information about everything what needs to be known. For example, peasants, when you recruit them, it will tell you 40 seconds, you know, build speed. Same also to heroes, to structures, to upgrades, to literally everything. Alright, nice. We are waiting for Aragorn, who should be there very, very soon. Mordor is coming with fire arrows, but again, until more siege weapons are coming, we should be in a good spot. And yeah, I just jinxed myself, am I right? Let's call the elves. 
That is not Archon. Just throw the swords and take down this catapult. That's all you have to do. Okay, now let's hope that we have enough DPS with the heroes because our summons are on cooldown, ends are on cooldown for a couple more minutes. It has like um, six minutes cooldown. And when you summon them, they will be on the field for two minutes. So as you can see, you have now way more available, um, you know, descriptions. More knowledge is great because it's also going to be very, very impactful for us in order to make the patch more and more balanced in the future. That's a huge army, by the way. We have unlocked every single power point at this point. So power points don't matter anything. Again, killing those units is like a double-edged sword. Maybe it's not the best thing, but we eventually have to kill them. We can't ignore them. And we have 0 out of 120 command points available. Yet we are holding ourselves in the game with power points and heroes exclusively. You know what? We have so much money. I think that there was a Nazgul, yeah? We have so much money that we can also recruit Theoden and Eowyn. Just find out. Oh my goodness. Don't, 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 don't. This Farami is actually hitting so hard. Holy guacamole. Gimli, can you please leap? Aragorn, please take care of this Farami. Where is Farami at? Farami is here. Let's kill him. Faramia, don't touch my Legolas. Don't touch my Tralala, I'm telling you. Tyrion King is here. Once again, coming on, coming mounted just like Eowyn. Aragorn is level 9, that's great. And Legolas, keep the distance. Okay, so basically what we need to do... Oh, we are attacked. We are getting attacked once again. What we need to do is use Slayer. Let's use Cloudbreak. And go inside the jeans. Aragorn, you do the same, please. With Blade Master. Legolas, in the meantime, can kill everything here. And Elmer just needs to stay close to Legolas. That's all you gotta do. Lead Master. Don't moonwalk. Let's use Atelas. We can also call the ends for the reinforcements. Uh, Aragorn can use Elendil maybe. Elendil all you want, but peel back now, peel back now. Let's not die, let's not die, let's not die. Please, 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 please. Yo, man, just run for your life. Don't die, Aragorn. Aragorn, don't die. Aragorn, don't die. Aragorn, don't die. Yeah, we are getting siege in the meantime. Let's get out with the heroes, the mounted heroes, and try to... It's so hard, actually, guys. I can't believe that. Uh, try to kill the catapults, please. For the Rina Mark. For death and glory? No. For Rohan. For our people, King Theorin. Luckily, this catapult is not protected, so we should be able to take it down. And luckily also we are able to save our heroes. Very, very important. Losing them is not going to only make us lose money, but also the momentum, the time. Okay, nice, nice, nice. We got a full level. By the way, we also increase the amount of experience points you will get from killing catapults a bit. Because normally when you would kill catapults in BFME 1, you would almost get no value, no benefit from it. Uh, while catapults are hitting like a truck, it was like a bad thing, and I believe... Now, it's a bit more punishing for the opening when he's spamming lots of katas and you are able to take them down. So let's get this mounted all together. Rohan is the faction with the most heroes in the game in Battle for Middle of One. You have with the Hobbit, Meriadoc, Brandybox, seven heroes in total. Alright, so we were not, I mean, as you can see, it's not hard. It's not easy, I mean, like finishing off the castle with heroes exclusively, even though Aragorn is very, very strong, Gimli is very, very strong, but... It's just not enough. So we need more than one attempt. The Nazgul is coming. Shouldn't be able to do much. Oh, wait a second. I can show you guys the shield maiden of Rohan and her smite ability. Scream, I am no man. Oh, nice. And also very quick information. The patch 2.22 version 1.1 is released. You can also download it from the description down below. And we will also keep working on it constantly, by the way. So, hey, Tyrion, please don't think too much damage. And that's why I don't like these big heroes like Theoden, you know? Which are mainly there for sportive, for sportive purposes. We have so much money, but we can't invest that into anything. Like, we are restricted. We are not allowed to recruit any units. Okay, we are killing a lot of units, though. So Aragorn is almost level 10. That will, you know, make us pretty much summon, like, another army after that. Aragorn is going down. But killing enemy units now doesn't matter anything because we have unlocked literally every power point from the spellbook already. He's throwing an axe on Aragorn. Gimli, come on now. 
Don't be that mean. Don't be that mean. I don't want to use my, uh, you know, Blade Master here. Oh my goodness. Maybe I should have not. Quickly. Elvin, please peel back. Kill your, kill your friends, Legolas. Elvin, you are so weak. <laughs> you are so weak, Elvin. I cannot believe that. How weak you are. Okay, we are in a safe spot. We are in a safe spot. There are no siege weapons just yet. We have Elvin allies ready for the worst case scenario. Tildin. Look, Tildin is trying to get away from uh, from fighting. Alright, let's summon the Elvin allies, actually. With the Elvin wood, maybe. Let's use that. Let's use Cloudbreak as well to stun them. And Aragorn can use Atelas. And also the Offbreakers from the level 10 ability, just to send them inside. This way they can tank all the damage. Aragorn can now use Bleedmaster. There is Gandalf. And Gimli, you can also use Slayer. Just kill this guy first. Legolas, you come here. Elmer, Tyrion, and you also come here next to him. Gimli is taking care of the White Wizard, no problemo. They are getting rich for killing him. And maybe we are gonna be forced to summon the army of the dead here. But let's try to finish off this castle without that. However, our damage is pretty bad as against structures. Once the Slayer is off and the Blade Master is already gone. So now Aragorn is not gonna be able to deal too much damage. Especially against those level 3 structures now as you can see and tell. We have heal on cooldown. And there is another Gandalf. I mean, Aragorn is sitting like a truck. That's the good thing about that story. Let's peel back though. Alright, Aragorn, don't die. Aragorn, please don't die. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, just too much happening, you know? Too much is going on. Let's call the ends. Come, my friends. The ends are going to war. It is likely that we go to our doom. Slayer is almost back up. We will need Slayer. To be able to finish off the structures. Come on, ends, please. Oh, Elvin is there. I won't even revive Elvin, by the way, because she's so weak. Tyrion! Okay, we've healed from the spellbook. I would like to keep it for um, Gimli. Gimli, don't worry, I got you. Or, oh my goodness, Gimli, don't die. Gimli, just kill this. That's all I'm asking you for. Level 3 structures tankiness is kind of nuts, boys. Alright, we did it, though. Let's leap attack on the rangers. They are hitting like a truck against Gimli. Aha! Now we gotta be careful because... Uh, see it. When we kill this castle, we need to make sure that we can also buy it. That's very important. He used heal. Like, look how many units there are, you know? Come on, Rangers. Uh, come on, Ants. You can do it. We need Aragorn back on the field, boys. Very, very soon. Alright, this Rohan has been defeated. Uh, the Gondor has been defeated. That's, that's very important. Nice. Please buy the castle. Legolas, Legolas, Legolas. Defend this. Gimli, get away. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. They are also being attacked at the same time. Legolas, buy. Legolas, don't die. Le Legolas, please. I'm, I need to use army of the dead guys to protect Legolas. That's... Because losing Legolas here would be very bad. But losing the castle to somebody else would be even worse than losing Legolas. So we need to make sure to secure the castle before another Rohan is going to be able to buy it. Or another AI will be able to buy it. So please, Elmer and Theoden, you guys get mounted. Legolas, close the gate. Uh, and, you know, hope for the best. Kappa. Alright, let's build more towers, more towers, more towers. Just to feel a bit more safe. There we go. Let's build a well for the sustain of Legolas. And also post and gate behind so we can leave it a bit faster. You guys go out. Right for Rohan. Where is the catapult? Somebody was... Something was shooting the, the gate. Am I right or not? What happened to the catapult? I'm very, very curious. Alright, so one is defeated, only six more to go. And Aragorn is back on the field, that's great. We have also Alvin allies available. Now we need to kind of look for like a, uh, like a Rohan, or not Rohan, I mean like Mordor for example. 
We also need more towers. The Witch King is tanking the arrows from Legolas. That's a mistake, sir. Because Legolas, you can't ignore his damage. Trust me on that one. So you guys can get dismounted again in this case. We have now healed them up. And again, every hero beside Elvin is on the field. And Elvin, we can skip her because Elvin is not... I mean, Elvin is very situational hero for the Rohan faction. There are some times in which she's quite useful when it comes to deal with Mordor especially because her smite deals crazy amount of damage to the Nazgul, crazy amount of damage to the Witch King and also crazy amount of damage to Trolls. But other than that, she's extremely squishy and very hard to be kept alive, you know? Alright, so you guys are the team number one and you guys are the team with Rock. Alright. So Aragorn and Gimli, they are the, the beefy boys from the Rohan faction. And now we need to make something risky. Because normally what I like to do is go side by side. You know, like attack the one here, then the one at the bottom right side. And just, just work your way up to the top spot. But here, I would like to focus down the evil factions first. There are two main reasons for that. The first is obviously they have no walls protecting them, right? So you can simply go inside. Even though Boromir was saying one does not simply walk into Mordor, he was not right. That is Gondor, we need to ignore that. We need to find like a... I'm actually curious, what is this faction? Let me check. That's Gondor. So there is Gondor, there is Gondor. What is this? Like maybe the one at the bottom right side, I don't know. But there is definitely one Isengard and there is definitely one Mordor. I'm actually very surprised that there are so many Gondors. Maybe this one. This one might be... Hopefully, Isengard or Mordor. We have end summon available for the worst case scenario. We also need to make sure that Aragorn is the one who is face tanking, just like Gimli, you know? They are... That's Mordor, right? Let me check. Yeah, that's Mordor. That's dope. Because now what can happen, or what will happen, is we will use the EOD summon before Aragorn to make sure that they are able to tank all the level 10... Uh, all the arrows, I mean, level 3 structures and stuff. And you, Gimli can use Slayer. Aragorn, you also use Blade Master. Oh, somebody was shooting us. Uh, let's call the ends from the other side of the beast. Legolas, my friend, you need to take care of this Nazgul ASAP. Let's use Atelas to heal up Legolas. There is an enemy Legolas who is trying to kill us. But first of all, we need to take care of this. Don't die. What are you doing, Legolas? Why? The problem is what happens now, you know? What happens now? How can we kill this? Can you, can you kill this, please, Emma? Not even close, man. Here then you're gonna die, my friend. I can't save you. And Aragorn also died. I don't know how Aragorn died. But Mordor calls for it. Oh my goodness, my elves did nothing. Mordor calls for it and apparently uh, Rohan will answer. Nazgul did so much damage to us, it was unbelievable. Can we heal him? Okay, we can heal him. So at least you will be potentially able to survive. We need to revive them all. Elmia, please peel back. Also, you can't do anything alone, my friend. All right, please attack the orc pits. Try to deal some economical damage at least, or structural damage. Orc pits almost level three. They are extremely tanky, but ends are also extremely efficient against structures. Just to just try. Oh, what is this? What is this berserker army here? There is an explosive mine, by the way, at my gate. And he's gonna, is he gonna make it boom boom? Isengard. Don't do it. Just like in the films. Okay. Looks like they don't want to do it, though. Again, hard AI in BFME 1 is not the smartest, let's be real. And for that reason, we are not playing against 1, but we are playing against 7, you know? Okay, they destroyed, like, one more orc pit. We have dealt great amount of damage to the Mordor, and we need to finish him off ASAP once our Aragorn, Legolas, and Theodin are back on the field. Okay, Elme and Gimli were able to survive. In the meantime, let's take a look into the first castle, which is looking pretty okay to me. So we know that this is Gondor. We also know that this is Gondor here, right? And that means... I don't know how many Mordors are involved, if there is only one Mordor or two Mordors. But we also know that there is at least one Isengard, as we have seen Berserkers and also Explosive Man. So now we need to figure out where they are coming from. And again, killing... Uh, see it. Killing the farms is always like a bad move against Rohan AI, because they will spam ants on us, and we have not really a way of dealing with them, when Aragorn is not gonna be around. 
The damage against ends from Legolas is kind of like a joke. Okay, let's finish off. We started. Uh, let's move to the space ASAP. Our mistake or my mistake rather was to ignore the enemy heroes from Rohan. Like he had Legolas shooting our Legolas all the time. And I was like, okay, you know what? My Legolas is level 10. He can tank that. But Legolas, no, no, no. is everything but a tank. You know, he's like a glass cannon. Oh, wait. He's, of course, coming mounted. I forgot about that. Many, many units. And you can see the Rohan Towers are not doing a phenomenal job for us, unlike the Gondor Towers. With the Gondor faction, guys, when you are ready with, like, you know, trebuchet around your fortress and so on, you can just close your eyes. And there is, like, little to nothing your opponent can do against that. Unless that is Isengard with explosive mines, which are quite annoying for Gondor. Because you, they make you destroy yourself. Because once they get touched by the Firestone from the Trebuchet, they will explode and deal crazy amount of damage to your structures, walls and towers. Everything is going to get blown up. Okay, so let's finish off this castle now. Then we can buy the second, you know, the second castle. It will only leave five. I don't even know why I'm recruiting Tyrion, guys. Like, he's so weak. We, we can't lose time here we need to go inside the jeans Gimli please do your thing Legolas you shoot everything up until this spot we need to kill the Citadel Aragorn you just kill this Legolas uh, I think Gimli can handle this situation right yeah should be able to do that there is there is Legolas at? Legolas please kill this Aragorn before he leaves level 7 okay Legolas is taking care of them no problem huh? where is Gimli at Gimli is here Gimli, just focus on the structures, my friend. That's all I'm asking you for. Let's call the elves one more time. Clawbreak to stun them. That's gonna buy us some time. Legolas killed, I believe, right? Yeah, Legolas killed Aragorn. That's good. There is Elvin. Aragorn is still alive, right? Yeah, Aragorn is alive. We can also... I mean, let's try to win or destroy this castle right now without the summon of the army after that. I mean, the end summon, sorry. Aragorn is sitting like a truck. That's Aragorn we like to see. These orcs are annoying. Jump on their face. Boom, Sam. Okay. Legolas, please move. Why are you attacking the farm, Legolas? <laughs> I made a, a move, you know. A click. So he's attacking everything. Okay, we have Atelas on cooldown. But we have heal from the spellbook. Just don't die, Gimli. Let's group together so I can heal you both, guys. Come on. Nice. And just finish off this last orc pit level 3. That's very very important okay i may just stay close to legolas i mean money is not a problem but you can see how much value you will get from the scavenger or from the outlaw leadership from enemy level two every time you kill enemy units you get more more and more money all right hard army has been defeated that's dope now we have only two more to defeat and uh, not five more to defeat sorry not two more so ideally now we will be focusing on the isengard let's try to see where the isengard faction is there, there's Isengard faction. Okay, see no more. And there is one more Mordor. Look, the Legolas damage. You see that? Pew, 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 pew. Don't die. All right, we kill them both. Aomea, hey, don't die. Get, get inside the jeans. Fireball. He fireballed our Aomea. Hey, and more Nazgûs are coming. There is at least one Mordor, if not two Mordor, Mordors, boys. Aragorn, don't die. Let's use Blade Master to not make him die. Kill the Nazgul Legolas. Okay. I mean, now Eowyn would be a nice choice. Yeah. And there comes the siege from Ballistas and Catapults at the same time. So we have to heal up a little bit before anything else. And because our heroes are badly damaged. What is happening here, Theodin? You gotta make a move, my friend. You are also level 5 only. Not even level 10 yet. The gate is going to be broken. Okay, so... Yeah, let's use Atelas in this case. Let's use army after that. Oh, don't die, don't die, don't die. Look how many siege weapons all of a sudden are coming. Do you see that? That's crazy, my dude. Don't shoot. Don't shoot Gimli. Look, these catapults are trying to kill... And look how much damage they are dealing to Gimli. Many, many more the catapults. Aragorn has to be revived. 
Aragon needs to be revived. Legolas, take care of this wife, sir, please. Don't let him speak. Or a spell will crush us or whatever, you know? The, you know the scene, right? When they were thinking that this is Saruman the White, but it was actually Gandalf the White. Spoiler alert. I mean, it's, it's, even, you know, it's even a spoiler after this many years. If you have not watched Lord of the Rings yet, what can I say about that, you know? Okay, so we need to definitely... Oh boy, this ballistas. Come on now. Throw boom, nice. Okay, nice. Look how much money you get for killing the... Uh, say it, the ladders. Not the ladders. The ram. Aragon is almost back up. Not really, but we need to be patient. We need to be patient. Berserkers are also quite efficient against arrows because they have like a dodge chance. Like there is like different stats in BFME 1. There is like armor, HP, but also like a dodge chance. And then you have like a resistant kind of stuff, you know? Like for example, a Balrog is resistant against some sort of damage. Like that's why normal units are not going to be able to damage him or very little, you know? Like you need to hit him for like 5 minutes and he has like only 45 seconds duration. So you cannot kill him with normal units exclusively. We need like magical uh, damage against them like Gandalf or Aragorn also army of the dead are able to hurt them as well as trebuchet okay this piece is in a safe spot this piece is in a safe spot and uh, but this is being attacked now all the time so please get dismounted okay guys now we gotta move out there is an explosive mine let's kill him first uh, Gimli can you leap attack maybe would be awesome if you can I'm actually curious, I want to see how much damage the Aeomia Spear would deal against Catapults. Let this, be their end. Let this be their end. Looks like we will be losing the Citadel eventually. I want to see the damage from Aeomia Spear though. Let's see. Very curious. Should be one-shotting if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Nice. Because Rohan was the faction which was struggling a lot against campers. Like when you play as Rohan against Gondor and Gondor is just camping with Trebuchet exclusively inside the castle. Your ends couldn't get anywhere close to them because ends are very vulnerable against fire. More ballistas are coming. Is that another Isengard? Like this is Gondor for sure. I mean, we know where Isengard is, so we gotta make a move to Isengard. Just ignore everything else. Legolas, don't die. Legolas, don't die. Please don't die. Aragorn, you need to kill him though. Okay? So let's ignore everything. Let's use Cloudbreak to stun them just to move on. Legolas, please. Uh, Aragorn, can you please summon the Offbreakers? There is Elvin. Okay. Uh, we gotta kill this with the ends. The siege weapons. Very important. Just summon... <laughs> I was not paying attention. Like, Legolas is so squishy that when you don't pay attention for like a, for like a second... And now we have a problem, guys, because there is Witch King and we have nothing that can hurt him. That's literally a big problem, oh. Who now has the strength to face against the forces of Isengard and Mordor? And against the union of the two towers. And we will definitely lose Aragorn. Because Witch King got buffed this patch. So Witch King is gonna be able to deal more damage to heroes. We need to heal him, though. I don't want to lose Aragorn yet. We need to revive and also get Elvin. I, I, I'm sorry, Elvin, for what I said to you. That I don't need you. I definitely need you in my life. Gimli, jump. Gimli, get away, right? Hopefully. Gimli, please run. Gimli, don't die. Gimli, don't die. Gimli, don't die. Ah, you will die. Without Slayer, you are so slow, Gimli. And we have heal on cooldown. Holy moly, man. Uh, that's so bad. <laughs> Like, the timing of the Witch King was kind of crazy, too. Elvin, Elmia was able to survive. Let's use Elmia to attack. Oh, we lost the Citadel, too. That's going to delay our Witch King. Um, oh, that's so tilting, man. That's going to delay our Legolas and Gimli now. We need to revive them in this Citadel, at least, you know. Let's recruit, revive them all. You know, when there is one thing which is absolutely really, really bad to deal with are the siege weapon spam. But without that, it would be also not challenging, let's be real. Because there is nothing they can do about your beast. But I don't even complain about the damage of the siege weapons against your walls and against your structures. No, it's about the damage they have generally against anything, including your units and even heroes. It's kind of crazy. 
You wanna use the Inter land? I can cover that. No problem. Rohan must stand. Rohan, my friend, will stand. It is too much for me. Look how... What is damage? Oh, th that's what I'm talking about, you see? Like, I was wondering what was actually hurting him that much. And the answer is the Mordor catapult. And somebody of you guys was complaining about that we nerfed Mordor by removing the possibility of giving even more damage to the catapults of Mordor with the drummer trolls. Like... Don't die. There you die. There is Legolas too. Holy moly. Legolas is level 8, by the way, from the AI. That's unbelievable. Elvin. Oh, never mind. Elvin is not here. Get dismounted, Elvin. We need to wait for your brother. We need to wait for your uncle. We need to wait for Legolas. I don't know how well related you are to Legolas, but... I think not at all. There is catapult shooting us again, right? No, there is a Legolas actually hurting. I was like, what is damaging my Aragorn that much? This time it was Legolas, almost hitting as hard as catapults. Okay. Now Aragorn, now Aragorn can fight, no problem. Huh? Especially with the Vel being next to Aragorn, he will be able to sustain over time. The thing is, hard AI in BFM1 is going to be able to deal 150% more damage. That's how the AI is designed. Like, when you fight against peasants as peasants, you will lose because they have 150% more damage boost. So they deal 1.5 times the damage you are normally dealing. Gimli, come on, please. Two minutes revive time from level 7 to level 10. Of course, he's level 10. Cloudbreak is available. The army of the dead is available, which we could be using actually to destroy this castle if I think, think about that. But again, we have de dealt a lot of damage to this Isengard base and let's try to finish him off without the use of the EOD, the big one from the Spellbook at least. We can summon always the small one from Aragorn. The one battalion, you know, for 40 seconds. And also we lowered, we nerfed EOD and Valrog, by the way, in this patch. So normally, uh, what we did is lowering the duration, the time remaining of the Army of the Dead from both Aragorn and the Spellbook of Rohan and Gondor by 5 seconds from 45 to 40. But also we lowered the movement speed from the Army of the Dead quite a bit. Just so we can make sure that the Army of the Dead cannot be summoned and then chase you all the way to the opposite side of the map, you know. We don't want that to happen. And also, Baldrock is not going to be able to one-shot level 3 um, production buildings anymore. That means, for example, as you can see, the farm has 5,000 health. While a production building like a stable level 3 or barracks level 3, for example, or archery range level 3 has 6,000 health. So what Baldrock will do is Baldrock will deal around 5,800 HP damage to you. That means he will not be able to... Yeah, your level 3 structures are going to be able to barely survive. Spear throw. Smite, smite. Double smite from the siblings of Rohan. Okay, let's move out now. Let's try to finish off this Aizen guard. So he can finally stop spamming ballistas on us all the time. Oh boy. This one is actually pretty challenging because, again, there is Aragorn. Let's kill him. Um, because the last time, oh, he was even using heal. Oh, the Hobbit. Don't kill Mary. He did nothing to you. Okay. You see his damage, dude? He was two-shotting our Tildin almost. You know, Aragorn hitting very hard. Don't cripple, lords. Don't cripple, lords. I will summon AOD on you. I will take the revenge from Boromir. What you, what you did to him in the films is unforgivable. Or it can actually be Legolas who will take you down this time. Look, he was rebuilding literally everything. Let's summon the Ents from behind. Aragorn is being tanky, but he's also tanking quite a lot of damage here. Gimli, my friend, you need to make a move. Let's summon the Elven allies too. Hobbit can be cloaked, I don't mind about that. Legolas, can you please make a move as well? Would be awesome. EOD is gonna be gone very soon. Okay. It is too much for you? Come on now, don't give up. Never give up, never surrender. Let's use Atelas. Let's not lose Aragorn, by the way. That would be the worst case scenario for us. Ents, come on, please. Ents, you are the ones I can count on. I have to count on. Oh, I, I, I can't wait for Gimli. I can't, I couldn't wait for him to get close to Gimli. Elmer, please. There is somebody shooting at Elmer. 
Aragorn is still tanking a lot. Oh, there is a ballista shooting at Aragorn's face. That's what's happening. Right. Aragorn, you peel back, my friend. I'm pretty tempted to use EOD here, by the way, guys. And can you please move? Alright. More siege weapons are getting recruited. Are you kidding me? Stay next to Legolas and stay in safety. Okay. The good thing is... Look, I mean, that's annoying. The good thing is that there is no chance the AI can summon army after that or Balrog on us. The reason is simple. Because we don't feed them. Like, we have no units that they can kill and get power points from. You know what I'm saying? Alright. Also, this Isengard has been defeated. Only took us, like, three attempts. And the... The good thing, I mean, let's be real, the heroes from Rohan are amazing, you know? They are extremely strong and very, very reliable, but... Look, this damage from Therian. Therian's guy is going to die. Yeah, I mean, it's also gonna go die. This is crazy. How much damage this Legolas was dealing to us? Holy guacamole. Alright, there is one more Mordor. We know that. And I believe that's the Mordor at the top right side, right? Let me check. We can use the Elven allies. Elven wood. Yeah, there is Lamar Mills. That means it has to be Mordor or Isengard. Let's build double wealth for sustain, first of all. And then build towers just to make it a bit safer. You know? Because we cannot and we will not stay in the base. We will also need to revive Theorin, even though he is kind of useless. Let's be real. Doesn't bring, but we can also use him like a like a human shield. You know what I'm saying? There is Gimli coming in Aragorn. Aragorn, level 7, but Legolas doesn't care. Hobbit was able to share experience with Legolas, and he's almost level 10. Oh, look, Hobbit was tanking the extra from Gimli. Level 7 Eowyn, the shield maiden of Rohan. That's dope. So we gotta wait until the well is up for the sustain. So we have defeated so far 3 of the 7. That means we have only 4 more to defeat before we will be victorious. Hopefully... That's going to happen very, very soon as well. I mean, we need to rotate with the power points, you know. Our heroes all alone, they don't have the damage they need to take down the enemy structures all alone, you know. While being tank while tanking all the arrows from the level 3 structures, especially from the evil factions like Isengard and Mordor. But I would still like to defeat this first. We see Gondor, and I don't know about this faction at the bottom right side. This can be also uh, evil or good. And we also see Gondor here. That means we know from two out of the four left factions in the game are still Gondor. Just ignore them. We need to make a move now. Just ignore them all. The tower should be able to handle the situation. No problem. Money, as you can see and tell, is looking great for us. So there is no need of being worried anytime soon. We can just repair everything if there is anything to repair. There we go. There is Mordor. Yeah, there is Mordor somewhere. There is Mordor. And Elvin, it's your time to shine, my friend. Okay. Gimli, can you actually throw eggs on him? Oh, yeah, you can, but it doesn't deal too much damage. Okay. You use Darkness? I can use Cloud Break. No problem, my friend. I got you. Let's use EOD. There is no Orcorn. Let's kill all these catapults. And then you, Gimli, my friend, go inside the jeans. Take care of this Citadel. Aragorn, you can also use Blade Master. And take care of this. Elvin, you can also summon the ends on the other side. Maybe here. Legolas, can you please... Something is hurting our Hobbit big time. Okay. Oh, he was not able to get cloaked. I don't, I don't want to use my heal on, on the Hobbit. Let's be real, guys. It would be a waste of <laughs> power point. Now we hear ends. Do you see that? Now, now we hear multiple ends. And they are also burning like crazy. Oh my goodness, don't die. Don't die. Two of them are dead. Like two, two shots literally from this catapult. Aragorn, just kill. Okay? Just ignore everything else and focus on the structures, guys. That's all I'm asking you for. Elvin was also able to deal great amount of damage. Legolas, guys, can you please do something? Don't even bother attacking the siege towers. Where is Gimli at? Gimli, just ignore. The siege tower, by the way, from Mordor, it's a unit you don't see very often, but it's pretty underrated. It's so tanky 
that's unbelievable like it can be like used as like a wall unit you know in order to uh, you know send him first when it comes to deal with a camper it's very vulnerable against firestone upgraded trebuchet but arrows or even normal units they can deal almost no damage to them you know okay elvin please the shield made enough rohan will give her for 30 seconds 50 percent more armor legolas is in a safe spot and also this mordor ladies and gentlemen has been defeated we gotta just take a look into the other factions and you see the last march of the end I heard multiple end moods and I was worried about that. Theoden got kicked in the butt and the King of Rohan is no more. What is happening? Well, there is one more tower. I was actually wondering why this Mordor is not defeated yet. So we need to take care of this Rohans also, my friends. Like this ends, they will be able to finish off everything now from the castle. Okay, this one has been defeated. That's good. We also lost uh, Theoden only, but it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Let's build and let's keep moving on we know that this is now rohan right this has to be rohan now let me take a look into that okay that's rohan that's the last remaining rohan because the other two will be only gondor so we need to ignore the ends because dealing with the ends would take us so much time cost us so much time and we cannot waste time on fighting ends when they can be bought multiple times again and again and again so what will happen because there is another end mood there is another end mood there is another end mood what will happen is when we deal with one end mood we will build even more end moods so it will be like a an endless loop you know that's why we need to ignore that this base might be also in trouble but let's just ignore the ends and try to finish off the castle from rohan since the end summon from us is on cooldown we need to definitely summon the army of the dead to break the gate yeah, more ends are coming, boys. The last march of the ends. Stands, men of the west. Okay. All right, he's closing the gate. Like, obviously, we need to, for that reason, summon the army of the dead. Scream all you want, my friend. I'm going inside the jeans now. Trust me on that one. Alvin Elias is almost back up. Break the gate, break the gate, break the gate. Okay, let's summon this army after that too there is no orcorn all you want let's just cooperate to stand them let's go inside the jeans gimli my friend you just focus down the structures aragon you did you do exactly the same and you guys all right just focus down the structures even legolas can draw the knives do you see? Do you hear the ants, my dudes? That's crazy, am I right? How many ants are coming? Look, Legolas is dealing almost no damage as knife fighter. Why are you leaping? On, why are you jumping on me, Gimli? Like the enemy Gimli is jumping on the front, on our Gimli. Don't do that. I don't. I don't mind about losing the heroes now. I just want to finish off this uh, as soon as possible. Just focus on the buildings and the structures. Uh, Legolas is gonna die, but it's whatever. Let's just hope that the Rohan is not gonna be able to buy this castle. That would be really the worst thing in the world. Elvin, just die. I don't mind about that. Okay, we, is he defeated? Please be defeated. Nice. That means all the ends now, as you can see, they are gone. Because the second the guy gets defeated, every unit from him is going to be defeated or killed at the same time very nice now we need to reclaim that and you see how hard this is uh, to deal with the end spam that's unbelievable we lost legolas for that reason elvin just peel back a little bit you don't need to be fighting anytime soon we know that this is i mean we have only gone door openings left that means elvin doesn't need to do much at this point because the only reason why i was recruiting her was because of the nazgus let's be real so the Gondors, they are pretty much camping now. Eventually, with many, many trebuchet inside the castle. So we need to summon the ends, keep our distance, and finish off the castles one by one. But first of all, I would like to, you know, rebuy this castle one more time. And focus then the guy in the middle. That's the plan, okay? Yeah, I mean, you just peel back. All right. 
Theodine will also be recruited very, very soon. But I'm just worried about Legolas. Legolas is what I need. More, 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 more farms. It doesn't really matter at this point. We have so much money. We have like five pieces in total. There is nothing that can make us broke. Even if you would just make like five or six tables at this point. There is one Gondor farm, but I don't mind that. Now, we have to... Are, um, okay, there we go. Legolas is on the field. That's dope. Okay, guys. So, we need to now call on the ends. I will ride. Don't ride. Just walk. Come, my friends. The ends are going... Stone worker and stuff, you see? Like, rangers inside, tower guards outside. Can you guys please move on? Okay. Okay, one, one part of the wall has been broken. Now, two of you guys can go on the citadel. Make sure that the ends are tanking all the towers. And then, Aragorn, you, my friend, lead the army of the dead, the Oathbreaker army, inside the castle too. Please, ends, don't, you know, peel back. Now it's the time to go inside the jeans, guys. Oh, looks like we can't. That is happening sometimes in the AI matches that you need to break the gate because you can't enter the base with your heroes for whatever reason through the through the broken vaults. I don't know why. Like, it's so random that this is happening, you know? Oh, that's actually pretty bad. Can I use the army after that to break the gate? Oh, man. Just can you please kill them all? Let's summon the Elven allies too. Legolas. Get in. Gimli. If you broke it, that's good. That's very good. Okay, let's now finish off the Citadel. Aragorn is thinking so much. We can summon the Elves. Oh my goodness. There is Faramir shooting us down. Let's use skill, actually. Let's not risk the biscuit. Losing the heroes now would be really bad for us. Gimli, you need to finish off this Citadel, please. Oh my goodness, Gandalf. Uh, Legolas, can you please take care of this Gandalf? Gimli, can you run for your life? Uh, what is going on? Okay, Gimli killed him. That's good. Aragorn, use Elendil and run, my friend. Just run, just run, just run, just run, just run. Aragorn is dead. What, what killed Aragorn so fast? Like, is somebody around? Was the Hobbit killing him or whatever? I don't know what's going on. Like... He died so fast all of a sudden. I mean, there are just many towers, I guess, but still. Legolas, 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 don't die, don't die, don't die. You see the arrow damage, dude, from Gondo towers in compared to the towers of Rohan? Okay, just peel back now, heal up a little bit. Is there a well inside the castle? There is a well inside the castle, that's good. I mean, now we need to be fast because... If he ever will be able to rebuy the Citadel, he will be also kind of repairing the, you know, the gate. And we will lose so much time of that. So, not good. And Summon is still on cooldown. But we have, for the worst case scenario, the army of the Dead Summon. And also keep in mind that when Aragorn is back on the field, we will also be able to summon the Offbreakers with the King of Gondor himself. We have zero command points all game long. That's also one of the changes, by the way, we've implemented into the new patch. That the heroes, they won't cost any command points anymore. Like normally, Aragorn used to cost you 5, Gandalf used to cost you 10 command points, and so on. Now the heroes, they are for free in terms of command points. Because I believe when you have like more space, more command points available, you can make greater armies, you know. Which are more fun in single player, multiplayer, but also in the campaign. We have also increased the campaign command points from, you know, 400 to 450 for the good factions and... Uh, to 900 command points for the evil factions. That means you can make like a massive army, like in the Helm's Deep mission, for example, you can make sure to make like full army of Rohirrim just like in the films. It's awesome. And if you guys enjoy this kind of content on this channel, guys, please don't forget to leave a like on this video. Likes are helping quite a lot. And let me know in the comment section down below what would you like me to play next time. Okay, so Aragorn is here. That's dope. Aragorn is a bit, um, I mean, of course, very, very tanky when the Blade Mass is active. For 25 seconds only, you will get 50% damage and 50% armor. But keep in mind that this is also able to stack with the Anduril Sword. 
It's a long story short, you can make your Aragon very, very strong, especially in terms of damage output. Now, I'm not sure if he was rebuying this yet. Yeah, he was actually rebuying this, so we need to definitely summon the army of the dead here. If you want to make something happen, because he will close the gate now. Just kill this. Let's call the ends too. Look, that's what I'm saying, you see? Um, he's closing the gate. So, Aragorn, can you please also summon your army of the dead? Just break the gate, come on now. Ends. Okay. Break the gate, break the gate, break the gate, break the gate. Aragorn. Oh, we couldn't... Are you kidding me? We couldn't even finish off the citadel? Really? Uh, okay, so go inside now, Aragorn. Finish off this, uh, please. Boromir is on the field. I mean, look, <laughs> Boromir is able to knock you down on the ground all the time, you know? Elvin, can you get inside? Well, but of course, he has no chance against Gimli. Gimli is a monster, a machine. I mean one. I don't want to heal you actually, but I'm, I'm, I'm feeling really generous today. I think you're gonna die anyway. I, I, I won't be using my heal on you. Or should I? I don't know. Let's use Shield Maiden though for a change. So she's gonna be a bit more tanky. My ants are just chilling. They wanna... The ants are not going to war. They are, they are watching the war. That's what it is. Let's use heal... heal. I mean... Sorry guys, it's been a long time, over an hour we are playing that, of course you end up losing your focus a little bit. And that's still no excuse by the way for losing Legolas as many times as I did in this game. But they are so squishy, Heart Army has been defeated, that's good, we have only one last opponent, one last dance and the game will be won. So in order to make it to the spot, we were reviving Legolas from this area. So we can join them a bit faster. Now the problem is that we have ends on cooldown, army of the dead on cooldown. The only available command points are draft, which is kind of useless for us all game long. And also uh, the Alvin wood, which also is useless because we have no units to boost to make them stronger. But on the bright side, we have full map control, literally. Like we have six out of seven or seven out of eight castles available on this map, all brown lands in battle for middle of one. So... Uh, I mean, we have many, many attempts now. We can feel, try again, feel, try again, feel, try again. But uh, to be honest, I'm kind of disappointed in myself. I thought this is going to be a much cleaner game, but I'm, I played really bad. I have to admit that. Um, we could play this much, much better. But it's very hard to win with heroes exclusively. And of course, power points. Um, because also you need to keep in mind that the power points of Gondor are much better in compared to the power points of Rohan. Uh, because you have no Rohirrim summon, which can be a great summon against, structure, against structures. You have no Eagle summon, which can also be a great summon against structures and against ballistas, against siege weapons, against heroes, and so on. You have seen how much trouble we had in the game with the Nazgûls and the Witch King, you know? Just open the gate. We are being attacked. Okay, no problemo. There is Gandalf. Hey Gandalf, how are you doing, my friend? Gandalf the Grey. I mean, very, very close fight, Gandalf. Very close fight. What can Gandalf do against such a reckless Rohan? Okay, so let's let's see what he got. Oh my goodness, he got a big army here, boys. Let's summon the army of the dead from Aragorn. Let's use this. Let's use the army of the dead to actually break the castle's gate. Let's use shield maiden. Aragon can use Atelas. Just break the gate. That's all I'm asking you for. Farami, why are you running, my friend? He thought he has enough army to fight against my heroes. We need thousands. Ten thousands for that. Give me just use uh, your Slayer and go inside the jeans, my friend. Come on. Aragon, you do the same. Rohan heroes, you do the same. And Legolas, you just chill here and kill everything that comes close. Just kill it, Sita. I mean, Slayer, I'm in love with Slayer. 100% speed, 100% more damage for 30 seconds. Bag, fell, beast. We have heal from the spellbook. 
and I would definitely use it for Gimli and Aragorn exclusively at this point because they are the most valuable. Hey guys, can you please leave my Aragorn alone? Come on now, LN deal. Go back. We can also summon the ends now. Come on, ends, nice. All right, ends. Can you please go inside the jeans and deal damage, damage, damage? Oh, that was close. That was close. Aragorn is tanking once again all the damage. All right, just focus down the buildings. Come on now. Legolas, can, you can also go inside maybe and try to make something happen. Aragorn is tanking too much. He might be in trouble. I mean, he will be definitely in trouble. Oh, yeah, we will lose him. He's actually dying so fast against arrows. Because, look, the thing is, many minute towers and also level 3 structures are able to shoot. And Legolas is going to be dying next. Holy moly. Uh, okay, guys, we just go inside. Gimli is tanky though. Gimli, in compared to Aragorn, is a bit more tanky against arrows. Did he summon Rohirrim? Yeah. Look, Gonda calls for it and Rohan will answer. But Rohan is not answering you this time, my friend. Rohan is not answering you this time. Alright. The thing is, I would like to have a victory with my Legolas and Aragorn on the field. Okay. Gimli. Just break them. Break them. Ends. Nice. Okay. Where is Eobin at? She's coming. To be honest, I'm actually impressed from Gimli in this game. Gimli, especially in terms of durability, is very efficient. So it's a really nice investment into the mid to late game when you ever choose to get him on the field. But let's be honest, I don't want to mislead you. Gimli until level 5 is kind of very bad hero. Like heroes like Lords, even Boromi and Farami would be outskilling him and outrunning him. Because there is no way you can get fast enough with Gimli to make him efficient enough, you know? But once you get level 5 with the Slayer, that's gonna turn it around and that's gonna make Gimli actually to one of the best heroes in the entire game okay beautiful but who died there Eomer? what was what was he doing there what very confusing now I mean Aragon of course Aragon Gimli they were the win condition that's why we will give them the chance to finish off this game let's use Atelas first with Aragorn Keep Gimli healed. Slayer. Aha. Let's use Blade Master. He's rebuying the Citadel, but it's fine. That doesn't do anything for him. Just break it. Break it. Break it. And now it's the hour of truth. Kill the Citadel. Look, they are both red. You know, you see that? Boom, 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 boom. And let's use heal for the, for the last second. And Hard Army has been defeated and we are victorious just like that i hope this was enjoyable guys it was a really love a really long and rough game sorry for miss speaking many many times during the video but this is not scripted by the way i'm just doing it a uh, freestyle so and again if you guys enjoy this kind of content please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also check me out on my second channel which is called pfme world you can find the link in the description down below which is again based on battle for middle earth games exclusively i'm looking forward to see you in the next video until then keep Hitting like a dragon is always stay beyond standards. Peace out.